okay with Michael and Amanda and Dante. Hi, Dante. And um, how old is Dante? He's two years old. Two. And um, on your application, you put your rescue him because he was the cutest darn puppy ever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. He's in a pile so, full of them. And so you did have him as a young puppy. Yes. So why, um, had you ever had training before anywhere? No. So why did you decide to come to training here with Canine um, Etiquette? Mostly because he was just pushing hard buttons. Okay. Couldn't do anything with him. Okay. Couldn't do anything with him at all? He's excited. Yeah. Okay. Like, like what? What kind of problems are you having with him? Um, so Whenever we would take him outside, he would want to escape. Yeah. He wouldn't you know, stand there. Okay, so. okay, you can interview. Okay, hey, we're looking at you. We're talking to you too. Okay. And <laughs> just commands like that. I mean, he could, he would sit and do things like that. For uh -huh. Treats, but he really was, was only doing it to get the treats. Oh, he really yeah. wasn't listening okay. to us. The biggest thing was him starting away. Okay. Just, just not even listening. And you had a very good point there, listening to you. That was a really big deal. I, people tell me that all the time. Is he listening to you now? Yes. Okay, and why, why do you think that that's happening? What, well, how has the class changed something for him to listen to you now? He knows that we're in charge. Ah, very good. And how did you show him that? Was it hard? No. No? Well, at first it was. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had, you had a lot of big changes yeah, to make, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, had a lot of big changes. Yeah. So was it, was it really, really hard or just it was kind of uncomfortable for you maybe? In the beginning it was, but I adapted to it. Actually you did? So better now. why did you follow through with it? How come you didn't just say to heck with it? Because <laughs> we saw how big of a change it made in him. Yeah, the first week. I was about to say, thank you, the first week. <laughs> That's why. The first Isn't that amazing? So what did you see the first week? Tell me about that. What happened? Well, the difference between, I mean, he was still doing the commands like we, were, we had taught him to. Uh -huh. The difference, I think, was before he was doing it just to get a treat. It was like his way of telling us, give me what I want. Give me, uh -huh. And now it's the opposite. He's saying, okay, I'm going to do this for you. He's actually working for you. I'm so glad you noticed that. That is huge. That is really huge. Okay, and what? How, how else has he changed? Is he better around any other dogs or anything like that? That's still the, the, dog the part hurdle is, that we're we're still working on that one. Yeah, working on that. Better, That's okay. But he's still very um, when, nervous around other dogs. I noticed okay. last weekend um, my cousin had her kids over, and when they calmed down, he actually let them pet him and sat sat with them. Good. Wow, which was. A big step. <laughs> yeah, that is good. That is good. And one thing too, we noticed in class, and I posted a few oh. pictures about it. <laughs> He's eating some bricks. Uh, one thing we noticed in class too was um, the eye contact that he has with you. Mm. What, did you have that before class? No. No, non-existent, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and that was a really great, great gift that you've earned from him. Dante, hey bud, hi. And I also noticed in class too, he's actually smiling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did he ever smile much before? Yeah, he did. Did, it, but it's a lot more now. Yeah, it, it, it's it's a whole it's 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 a different kind of a thing. Because mm -hmm. I noticed a much more relaxed dog. Right. Did you notice that too? Oh yeah. Especially here. Oh, exactly. Because yeah, he's doing all the commands here, the down stays. He's doing everything for you. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Is there anything else you wanted to add in, or you wanted to tell anybody about the training, or would you would you recommend it, or yeah. what do you think? I would definitely recommend yeah. it. I mean, if you stick it through the first week, you'll know yeah. a big first difference. Week. Like if you can get um, through the first week and all your skepticism, it's worth it. So you were skeptical? I, Come on, yeah. I mean, it's okay. I, I Be mean, honest. I'm a skeptic. Be honest. That's okay. Um, yeah, tell me about that. What, what what were you skeptical about? I'd like to hear this. Well, I just wasn't sure about training methods for dogs in general. I guess I've always okay. grown up with dogs, and I thought uh -huh. I knew better. Uh huh. That's okay. But. <laughs> That's okay. I think I learned a lot. You did, really? Really? Hey, it takes, it takes, it takes a very courageous man to admit that. <laughs> I appreciate that very much. I really do. So what did you learn that you didn't know? Tell me about that. I mean, I always understood to agree that dogs obey on a dominant basis, but I guess I didn't look at it that way for me. Like I wanted to, I don't know, I looked at us almost as not equals, but I mean, maybe that I wasn't in charge, that we were kind of partners. And gotcha, gotcha. It makes good sense. So, um, do, you think he, do you think he listens to you because he's dominant? No. Oh, absolutely not. No. no. Now, you can't have a dominant dog 
respect the human. No. So, so what do you think about teaching um, teaching an animal to respect you? I mean, wasn't that cool? Oh yeah. I thought that was the best thing of everything. Best thing of all. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He, he's actually happier yeah. in the role. Exactly. He has now mm -hmm. than he was before. Yeah. Okay. So tell me about that. I'm, so I'm glad you're noticing all these things. <laughs> what the role before? What was that about? I think the role before was there was no established leader of the pack, so uh -huh. he felt like he wanted to fill that role, but I think he didn't really want to fill that exactly. role. Exactly. And that's where Perfect. The stress came from. Yeah. Ding dong. I couldn't have said it better. You hit the nail on the head. Exactly right. That's how we learned in class. If, the, if a human isn't in charge, the dog takes over, but they really don't want to take over because they don't know what to do. And, and you're absolutely right. That's where all his stress was coming from. Man, you hit on the head. I'm so proud of you. That's awesome. Well, Dante, I'm so proud of you. Happy graduation day. Yeah. And I can even touch him now, too. I couldn't I touch him the first two classes. Hey, bud. Look how happy. Look at that pretty face. Well, congratulations. I'm, I'm very honored that, that you chose Canine Etiquette to come for your training. That for the life of your dog, you can always come back. Mm -hmm. And please know I'm here if you need me. Call on me. And thank you so very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, everything okay. was great. Thank you. Thank you.